Hello and good evening, guys. Uh, today we're going to take a quick look at uh, this game from Decision Games. It's called Battles in the East, Volume 1. It includes Bagration Stopped and Sandomir's Offensive, both occurring in 1944, both in Poland, so it appears. Nice box, nice box art. Really nice for DG. They're stepping up their game. A die. You have your Battles in the East system rules. Matte paper. Love it. You can write on this. And, oh, I love it. It's in full color, but you can write on this. It's not glossy at all. You can write in this with paper, uh, pencil very easily love this type of paper but this is the system rules for the battles in the east breaks down the counter numbers and so forth if you play war games at all you're probably very familiar with those it's an attack a defense and a movement allowance some uh, support markers and administrative markers also identified over here The rules are two columns per page. The print's not very bad. I mean, I'm getting old. The print's probably fine if you're in your 20s or 30s, but it's a little bit small for me, but I'm old. But no complaints. Nice rule book. Lots of illustrations and examples. We have a turn record track on hard card stock. It's glossy, or at least semi-glossy. We have two player aids for the first scenario. They're both exactly the same. You get two, one for each side. They're double-sided. Again, hard, glossy card stock. And you get two player aids for each side, or one for each side for the uh, the second scenario. Again, hard player card that's glossy. You get two battles in the east reference ch charts. That have your terrain effects, supply effects, and your uh, CRT on it. One for each player. Again, on stiff cardstock, semi, or glossy. Then we get to our character sheets. We have uh, a half character sheet. I mean, counter sheet. And have a mix of German and Soviet units and some administrative markers. Some Polish units there at the bottom. This looks like it's for Bagration stopped scenario. This is. Fr huh. Looks like the counter mix is mixed. You have a second sheet of counters full of Germans and Russians. Lots of infantry, mechanized armor, assault armor. Lots and lots of infantry for the uh, Russians. Some mech, cav, some tanks. Another counter sheet of more combat units. So in total, uh, there's... Two and a half counter sheets here included in this game. Uh, the ver I don't know if there's two different versions or not, but the version I got has this hard-mounted map. I'm not going to pull it out of this plastic that it's in. But it's hard-mounted. Looks like there's two of them. There's probably one for each scenario. And they fold out. The Probably those tri-folds that fold out real weird 
but it's it's going to be a big footprint. The graphics look fine. Very clear. And the back of the box. Two to four hour playing time. It's probably six when you're first starting. And probably three when you know what you're doing. Complexity is three. Which is probably correct. No indecision. Well, close enough. Uh, there is a volume two to this game. Uh, I didn't get that when I was at Gen Con. I was going to take a look at this one first. But I'll probably end up getting the rest of the uh, the games in the series. But uh, that that's a quick look at uh, Battles in the East, Volume 1 by Decision Games. It includes Bagration Stopped, Warsaw 1944, and Sandu Mirrors Offensive, Vistula Bit. Bridgehead, 1944. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope uh, you found this helpful. Have a good one.